she is, y'all. There she is. What do you think, girls? I love it. I think it's perfect. It's and really cute. So does Nanny. How about, can we be excited about this? No quarters. No quarters. <laughs> the fact that this is a block away from the house we're moving to gives me hope. So I love this a lot. This is a good sign. All right, so we just toured our possible new home in LA, mid-city area, and it is a culture shock to say the least. Compared to Santa Barbara. Compared to Santa Barbara. No, we got kind of spoiled. We, we are very spoiled. No, we did get really spoiled. But for some reason. But for some reason, we still want to go through with this. No, it'll it'll be good. There's gonna be a lot of opportunities that will make up for the little things, and and one day we won't have to live Here. in suburbia. We won't have to. And, and I'm not putting this area down, but manifesting that one day we will live in a fucking mansion. I don't need it to be a mansion. So you know what? Stepping stones. We're gonna have to put in the work yep. to become something of ourselves. To make something of ourselves. To make something of ourselves. And this is the first step. It's so, an adventure. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, you know what? This is pretty. It's, it's pretty. It's just different vibe. Like we're moving to the city, and I think we need to remember that we're moving from little beach town to big dirty city. We just have to. I especially like, need to shift my brain that no, this isn't Santa Barbara. I'm moving to a new place for a new experience, and to I don't know, get some grit. I don't some know. grit. It can't be all peachy. Can it? Look at that Lord Rye Carly. <laughs> it's a sign. We're safe. <laughs> <laughs> put it on the top. Paramount Plus. I would love to watch that. But I'm not gonna watch Paramount. What else am I gonna watch? <laughs> Free Britney? Free Britney! <laughs> Nini. He's sleepy. Must be nice to be sleeping instead of being in this traffic, huh? Alright, so I just got back from touring our new apartment in LA and I am already feeling a little homesick. I haven't even moved out yet. I just can't. I mean, look at this. Nothing is going to top this. It's just gonna be so hard transitioning from this to being in a big city. I mean, it's Los Angeles, it's a big city. The neighborhood is kind of like grimy and there's trash everywhere. And we have it so easy here. I don't know, it's gonna be a big transition moving from the sleepy town of Santa Barbara to a big city like LA, but I think it's for the better. It is for the better. It's something I'm gonna have to get used to. But I guess for now, I need to soak up my little Santa Barbara apartment before it's gone. We just got back. We had to make a quick trip to the beach after spending all day in LA. We just had another weird coincidence. Oh, yeah. We were just filming that iCarly billboard earlier today and we were just talking about moving to LA and how nervous we are and I said have there been any success stories of and people who like, moved yeah. from Santa Barbara to LA and then I was like oh you know who actually is went to UCSB Jerry Trainer <laughs> from iCarly <laughs> went to UCSB and now he's Jerry Trainer. but that's a success story Katy Perry is a success story from Santa Barbara to LA I mean, literally. I'm literally texting my mom actually right now. I'm like, it's a nice place, but I'm really going through it. <laughs> you know what's so funny though? What? The whole time we've lived here, we take this for granted. Yeah. And we just sit in our fucking apartments until we know we're losing it and then we appreciate it. The past. That's how it is. The past six years, like, I. You've I mean, been we've. Here six years? Yeah. Taylor, you've almost lived here 10 years. I know. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. 